What day? Thursday. Thursday. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Every time I, I make a sandwich and I show it on the vlog, I get at least one comment that's like, that's a lot of meat on the sandwich. And my, my first thought is, is it? Is it, real, is it really that much? Does it look like more than it actually is? These are really thin slices of, of meat. Maybe I have, you know, a slightly different idea of what a sandwich is and what the ratio should be. But typically on a sandwich, I have um, mustard, some sort of deli mustard with, with horseradish, ideally. Pickles, sometimes tomato. Depends if we have extra tomato, then I'll put tomato on mine. Two slices of cheese. And then when you've got like pretty thin sliced uh, pieces of, of uh, meat like this, I normally do six, seven slices, and that's a pretty good sandwich to me. Um, if they're a little bit thicker, because uh, sometimes we'll get the meat from Costco and that seems to be a little bit thicker, then I might do like five slices. But I think I thought that was, seems like a really reasonable sandwich to me. <laughs> I mean, could I make it a lot higher? I could. I certainly have room, but it seemed like a pretty good uh, middle-of-the-road lunch. So I know, first off, you, you're probably wondering how I'm feeling. Um, I didn't get quite enough rest last night because I went to bed a little bit late, um, later than I, than I thought I would. Uh, so when I woke up, I was a little, a little bit tired, and I had a little fuzziness you know just from that but breakfast stream went way better than it did on tuesday because <laughs> on tuesday i wasn't a bit of a mess it was a bit it was like a tiny like a tiny mess um and that didn't happen this morning so there there must be some improvement and uh after breakfast stream um we had to take care of something uh we had we had actually run back to the post office and then um took a nap i slept for 90 minutes and when I woke up, I was so tired. I was like, no, 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 no. I don't, ha I don't have to be up right now, and I'm, I'm not. So I slept another 60 minutes. So I slept two and a half hours. And uh, then I woke up, and I was, I was pretty good. And since then, I, I haven't been groggy. I haven't been up super long since then. But I feel pretty good, and I'm, I'm very hopeful that maybe things actually are improving. Certainly, they're a lot better from, from Monday. But... um. We'll see how it goes. It, it looks to me as if things are getting better. It's gradual. You know, my, my whole thing with the second shot, seeing all my friends like, oh, 24 hours and then I was done. I woke up the next day, no problem. Is that I'm not experiencing it that way. My symptoms are probably going to very gradually leave, but it does look like they're leaving. Hallelujah, <laughs> because I could really use a break. After I eat the sandwich, uh, we don't have too much longer, and then folks will start arriving uh, for the last driveway time ever, um, just because we can get back into the house. We won't be back in the house next week. Um, we're actually just not going to do anything next week because it's too close to Coliseum, and I've got other things I need to work on. Um, but the week after, we'll, uh, we'll have folks back in, and I don't know if we'll do a party, but it'll be, it'll be something. It'll be like, come inside, eat some food, play some games, and I'm really looking forward to that. But for today, after having done this for how many months? When did we start doing driveway I time? Know. I have no idea. Like, a long time. A long, long time. After having done it for all this time, finally, today, is the last driveway time. It's Tuesday. Hey. No, it's not. Um, Friday. You're, why, why do you... It's Wednesday. It's the last. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I just thought it was funny that the last driveway time is not on the driveway. Is not in the driveway. We decided to actually sit in the backyard today because it was 81, and the sun just beats down for the first little bit, and it's. Will was in the sun, too hot. and he was like, "It's too hot." Oh really? Moved. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're just kind of chilling in the in the shade, and this is a much better situation i think hey uh actually not next week because we have uh we have to prepare for coliseum stuff but two weeks we'll be back in the house unless we want to sit out here like y'all are going to need recovery time let's be real not for a week not that's for what an you said about the shot also that's okay that's we also <laughs> haven't had the house clean for guests in a very long time yeah but we'll have it cleaned with List. Coliseum in that time period? Yeah, Coliseum. Are you on the vlog right now? 
it's caught up. Yeah, it'll be fine. We'll, uh, Coliseum will, will happen. And then we'll, um, you know, take a few days to clean stuff up. Uh-huh. And then the house will be clean. And then people come in and we'll play a game. And that's how it'll work. It'll be great. <laughs> and we'll never be outside ever again. At least not this summer because it'll be too hot. So we had a few things to do this evening. And uh, one of them involved having to ride out and take care of something. When we did, we were like, you know what? It's getting late. We should just grab some food out. And uh, we went to a place that we haven't been in a while. In fact, the last time we were there was uh, the very last lunch bunch that we did in person. Yep. Some of you now know what it is, and it is Taco Bell. And uh, it was interesting. It was interesting going to that Taco Bell because I realized something. We don't ever been to that Taco Bell once. When we went there for lunch bunch, it was the grand opening of that Taco Bell. <laughs> And as I went through the drive-thru of the Taco Bell tonight, and I would have gotten like a video clip or something of it, but I was using the phone to listen to music and I couldn't use it to, to video. Uh, that that drive-thru is not designed well. Mm -mm. It it does the normal drive-thru thing where you're, you run, you're along the side of the building and then you turn like to go around the other side of the building. But at that turn, from the opposite direction, which is a, connects to a parking lot, people can also get in line there. And there's a sign on your side coming that way that says, please allow merging. And that's fine. That's fine. The problem is, who gets to go? What is it that they want to achieve there? Do they want you to go one, one, two, two, three, three? Or is the, is the right thing to allow anyone who was already waiting to go. So if there was someone that you, you already saw a car that was there as you pulled up, even though on your side you can get in sooner, should you let them go because they were in line ahead of you? What's the correct call to make? I don't know. All I, all I see is like, this looks like a potential for a fight. <laughs> looks like a potential for a fight. You get to the Taco Bell, you're hungry, you're disgruntled, and uh, there's probably going to be an act of violence at that drive-thru. And it's America, so you know I'm right. Anyway, we avoided the act of violence tonight. And um, Mal, you, are, you already ate your crunch wrap. I did. Oh, okay. I, I was hungry. You were hungry. Mm -hmm. I haven't been to Taco Bell in, uh, well, a year. So I just, um, I got a little ahead of myself. I was really hungry at the drive-thru, and I haven't been to Taco Bell in a while, and I never know what to order. Because normally I just, I'm like, give me the box. But I was getting up there, and Mal was like, you just order something that you want. And I was like, I don't know what I want. And I was like, what if I just got some burritos? And Mal didn't stop me, so I did. I got, I got whatever this is, uh, shredded, shred, some sort of shredded chicken burrito. Because these are on the value menu. These things are a dollar, that's it. And then I don't know what this one is. I got like a rice and bean burrito. And then I got just a normal beef burrito. And then I don't remember what, what the heck this is. This says taco and that's not right. Oh, I got a potato burrito. Oh, that must be that. Did I get four burritos? I did. Was that too many burritos? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. But you know what? I'm hungry. And I still have a few more things to do tonight, and they'll give me a little energy. But you scarfed that crunch wrap down. I was down. very hungry. Was it good? I mean, you haven't had it in a year. Um, the, the middle layer that's supposed to be the crunch got a little soggy on the ride home. Kind of a, a moist wrap supreme. Yeah. It was fine. Moist wrap supreme is a terrible name. <laughs> I hope we never have to call it that again. <laughs> what are you doing with our son? Holding him. Hi, bud. Yeah, you're a sweetheart. Please put me on the floor. You don't yes. you don't like to be in the air? No, please put. Please put on the floor? You go on the floor now. Oh man, okay. Um Yeah, it's it's time it's time for bed. Mm hmm I mm, I feel fine from the Taco Bell. I'm not gonna feel fine tomorrow because no one ever feels fine from Taco Bell at, at a certain point, but I'll deal with that tomorrow. As far as how I'm feeling before bed, um, 
let's just say that I'm, I'm looking for the small improvements and I think I'm still experiencing the small improvements and that's what matters the most. So I'm crossing my fingers that that continues and I'm hopeful that it will. We'll see. We'll see. I need some sleep. Tomorrow's a big day um, because tomorrow, uh, pet, pet goes back to Kep. <laughs> Kep goes back to vet uh, to get um, new blood work to make sure he's over his pancreatitis. I believe he is, but we'll find out. Well, we won't find out tomorrow, but at least we'll do the we'll start the blood work tomorrow. And then uh, also new Pokemon Snap comes out tomorrow. We're doing a stream on it, but we don't own the game, so we're gonna have to go out and buy the game. And we'll do that tomorrow as well. Yeah. All right. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?